And, you know, one, one story I tell of a painting contractor, I wouldn't even name the, uh, the, the city, but this is in Wisconsin, and the, the gentleman came up to me, uh, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty frustrated and, and was begging me not to vote to extend unemployment benefits. And the story he told me is you know, he finally got a couple of big uh, painting jobs, and he went back to his crew who he laid off to a person they would not, you know, accept employment again. And they're very honest with him. He said, well, it doesn't make any sense for us to do this until our unemployment benefits uh, run out. And really to, to you know, add insult to injury, uh, he lost the jobs to those same crew members who, who did the jobs for cash. So, I mean, that's, that's not a universal uh, criticism, but those are some, some of the real world, world consequences of, of uh, uh, extending unemployment benefits. It, it, does, it does somewhat, it, you know, in, in some instances, reduce the incentive for people to take those jobs. Jan in Arena is concerned about the unemployment benefits. Hi, Jan. Hello. Um, I would just like to ask Mr. Johnson what he thinks the people who are going to be thrown off of unemployment are supposed to do after December 28th. Uh, they're not all children. I'm, I mean, they're not all young people. A lot of them are mothers with children and, and fathers said, struggling to keep their families going. What are they supposed to do when there are no jobs? Well, again, I... I have a great deal of sympathy for anybody in those in those situations, and there are a number of different programs to provide financial support for people. You know, once they go off of of unemployment benefits. But again, you know, one of my problems, and and again, if if we can actually find the lower priority spending items, it's probably something I can support. But as a fiscal conservative, one one of one of the things I'm talking about and concerned about is if we don't get our fiscal house in order. You know, just you can always take a look at every every one of these spending programs and have a great deal of sympathy and say, yeah, boy, let's let's keep spending money there. Let's continue to provide those benefits. But if we don't get our fiscal house in order, if we don't show the type of fiscal discipline, uh, we're, we're going to have some debt crisis, and then we won't be able to afford any of these programs. So, you know, again, I, I have a great deal of sympathy for people in the situation. Um, but I think it, you can take a look at a number of studies that just continually, and this is on a macro basis, not on a micro basis, but on a macro basis, continuing to extend unemployment benefits extends unemployment, and that's not a good thing.